So can you explain the role of TSMC in the story of semiconductors and uh, maybe also how the United States can break the reliance on TSMC? I don't think it's necessarily breaking the reliance. I think it's uh, getting TSMC to you know build in the U.S. Um, but so, 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 so t st taking a step back, right? TSMC produces most of the world's chips, right? Uh, especially on the foundry side. Um, you know, there's a lot of companies that build their own chips: uh, Samsung, Intel, um, you know, ST Micro, Texas Instruments, you know, analog devices. All these kinds of companies build their own chips and XP. But more and more of these companies are outsourcing to TSMC and have been for multiple decades. Can you explain the the supply chain there and where most of TSMC is in terms of manufacturing? Sure. So historically, supply chain was companies would build their own chips. They would, you know, it'd be a company started, uh, they'd build their own chips, and then they'd, they'd design the chip and build the ship and sell it. Um, over time, this became really difficult because the cost of building a fab continues to compound every single generation. Of course, the technology, figuring out the technology for it is incredibly difficult regardless, but just the dollars and cents that are required, ignoring, you know, saying, hey, yes, I have all the technical capability, which it's really hard to get that, by the way, right? Intel's failing, Samsung's failing, et cetera. Um, but if you look at just the dollars to spend to build that next generation fab, it keeps growing, right? Sort of like, you know, Moore's Law is having the cost of chips every two years. There, there's a separate law that's sort of like doubling the cost of fabs every handful of years. And so you look at a leading edge fab that is going to be profitable today that's building, you know, three nanometer chips or two nanometer chips in the future. That's going to cost north of 30, 40 billion dollars, right? Um, and that's just for like a token amount. That's for a, a like, that's like the base building block. You probably need to build multiple, right? And so when you look at the industry, uh, over the last, you know, if I go back 20, 30 years ago, there were 20, 30 companies that could build the most advanced chips, and then they would design them themselves and sell them, right? So companies like AMD would build their own chips. Uh, Intel, of course, still builds their own chips 